Hi everybody, in this video tutorial, we are going to see how to build a light sensitive LED beacon. This LED beacon will glow brighter when the intensity of light is less and it will dim when intensity is more. I am Frank Donald from Gazetronics. Let's get this project started. For this project, we are going to use light dependent resistor LDER to sense the light and a timer IC555. Apart from this, we are going to use few other components like capacitor, resistor, transistor, LEDs, diode and few connecting wires. Let's take a quick look into the circuit working under 90 seconds. This project works on the basics of PWM. This circuit is basically an A-stable multiway pattern built using IC555. I believe you guys know that A-stable multiway pattern will give out square wave as output. Our objective is to modify the width of square wave like the one you see here. In order to do this, we need to fix the values of R1, R2 and C1 appropriately to modify the charging and discharging times of the gap. This will decide the width of pulse. Unfortunately, no matter what value you choose, the duty cycle will not go less than 60% when using IC555. So, we need to make few modifications in the above circuit. Adding the diodes D1 and D2 will do this. Diode D1 serves to charge the capacitor, however D2 blocks it. D2 allows the discharging current only. By doing this, we can modify the duty cycle of output signal even less than 5%. Now, to make this circuit light sensitive, replace the resistor R1 with a LDR. LDR will give out low resistance when high intensity light falls on it and exhibit high resistance when light is of less intense. So, we can achieve high duty cycle which makes the LED to grow, glow brighter and low duty cycle will make the LEDs dimmer. Now add a transistor and bunch of LEDs as per your need and your circuit will be finally ready. If you feel lost, follow the link in the description where you can know more about using TripleFi Timer as an oscillator. Start by measuring the resistance of LDR under different light conditions and note them down. This will be especially helpful for calculating the resistance and capacitance values of your project. Start assembling the circuit in a simple breadboard. I'm going to use 6 LEDs for the beacon. You can choose any number of LEDs you want but make sure you use the appropriate transistor to power them up. Now the circuit is finally built. Now take two long pieces of wire and attach them to the leads of LDR. Now connect the LDR to our circuit. Always place the LDR in such a way the light from the LEDs will not disturb them. Connect the power supply pins and you are all set. I have explained the calculation part of this project in this article. Check out the video description for the link. I am going to use a powerful flashlight in order to test our project. When I light up my flashlight and point it towards the LDR, the LED starts dimming. And when I move my flashlight, the LED starting started to brighten up, thus producing a fading effect courtesy of pulse width moderation PWM. The beacon will be super bright when LDR is placed in pitch dark and sorry about the flares. You can also use a DC fan in this circuit and control its speed. All you have to do is connect the DC fan to a collector terminal of transistor along with a protection diode. Let's see how it works. When I turn on the flashlight, you could see the speed of the DC motor is coming down and it ceases to move and when I move the flashlight away, it again starts to rotate in its full speed. 
Hope this video was useful to you. For further resources, check the links in video description. If you like what we are doing, do consider subscribing to our channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. If you got any comments, suggestions and improvement ideas for this project, do post them in the comment box below. And thanks for watching.